and welcome back to the Crew Motor Fest. And if y'all are new around here and you want to request any other test drives or customization videos, let me know in the comment section down below. But in this video, we are gonna do a test drive and full customization on the Charger Hellcat Red Eye. So before we get into the customization, let's do a quick little drive, rather an introductory drive, and then we'll jump into the customization options. This thing is so quick right out of the box. It is like, you literally could just drive it out of the dealership and it is already so freaking fast. Although we kind of knew that already. We kind of knew that jumping into say something like, you know, a Hellcat Red Eye. It's gonna be fast. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insanely fast really. But it's actually, as we drive it off into the grass, don't worry about that. We'll gloss over that. Um, it's actually pretty easy to control considering the amount of power that this thing puts down. So let's not slide off into the grass again. It's actually really progressive to get it into a slide as well. I haven't even touched the handbrake yet. Let's see if we can flick it in. Not bad. Not like genuinely. This thing actually feels really, really nice to drive. But before we go any further, we're gonna actually back in by this building right here, and we're gonna do a quick little run through the customization before we go any further. And then after that, I think we'll probably make our way out to a highway. So let's go ahead and bring the menu up and we'll head into the vehicles area and go directly into the customization. Now, I'm very back and forth on whether or not I wanna leave it with this kind of black and white theme or if I wanna change it up a little bit. And I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of thinking about sticking with the black and white because I think it looks really, really good. But let's see, the official colors, there's, there's a lot of official colors and some of them are kind of that two-tone theme and then others are a single tone theme that all actually look really, really good too. Oh, I love that one. That one looks sick. So does that. I mean, if there's one thing that they got right with the entire like Charger and Challenger lineup, it was the available color options. So let's actually... Oh, I'm so torn. I tell you what, I tell you what, we're going to do this two-tone like black and gold. I know it's not necessarily what we originally set out to do, but I think we're going to stick with it. So let's see. Now for the visual parts. So we've got the standard hood. We've got a carbon hood and then a just like slightly different configuration of the same thing. Now I'm thinking we will swap over to carbon and oh, that's that's pricey, but you know what? I won't worry about it. Now, let's see. How many front bumper options do we have? Oh, there's a lot. Oh, these actually go so far as to change the headlight lenses and everything. God, we could just keep going and going and going. There's like 20 freaking options in here. Oh, that looks wild with like the entirely blacked out front end. Here, I tell you what. Let's do the blacked out front end with the front splitter because that, it's a little expensive, but it looks so sick. Now let's see. Oh, we could go even wider. Yep, we're going wider. Although we are not going to do those in raw carbon. We're going to do those in body color. Now there are a ton of wheels to choose from, but I think we're going to stick with some of the um, factory SRT options. Although I'm so back and forth on whether or not I want to run these or these, which I like a lot, or these. I'm so torn. I am so, so, so torn. I think, you know what? I think we'll actually run these. These do look really, really good. And I think the silver really pops with this color combo. And the black wheels, while they do look really good, they also kind of fade into the background. And that's not really what I want them to do. Now, I do want to kind of see if I can match the caliper colors at least somewhat close-ish to the body color. That's pretty close. It's close enough. Now, side mirrors. Um, do I want those body color or do I want them carbon? I think we'll do those in carbon. And then side skirts wise, um, I am so torn. I think we're going to leave those body color. Rear fenders, we're going to do body color match, but just a little bit wider. So we're going to grab those. And then rear wing, I want to see what our options are. So we do have kind of like a GT style wing. We have, oh, that, 
that ironically looks like it was taken right off of a Subaru WRX STI. And then this one, I'm kind of unsure about. And then this one, obviously, is going to be your drag wing. Now, let's see. I think... God, I don't know about this one. Like, I like it, but I don't know if it's the direction I want to go. I tell you what, we'll go ahead and throw this on for now. But later on, if I decide to change it or if I decide that I don't really like it, then we might change it later. Now, let's see. Rear bumper-wise, this is going to cover, like, exhaust options, taillight options, all of that sort of stuff. So, let's see. That, I am not so much of a fan of, though. Let's see. I do like the way the carbon diffuser looks. And that actually looks a lot better with the center exhaust and then the carbon diffuser. That one I may actually go with. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. The blacked out taillights and the carbon diffuser. Yeah, that looks, that looks sick. And now, finally, we can do the interior color. And I think I'm going to also color match that to the exterior. And then let's see. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, that's like, oh, leather or Alcantara. We'll do, I think we'll do Alcantara for that. And then interior inserts. We'll go with the carbon. Because I feel like that's not so much carbon that it's over the top. But it is just enough carbon that it looks really good. Oh, wow. That looks incredible. That looks genuinely incredible. Let's go ahead and back out and see what this thing looks like outside in the world. Oh my god. This thing looks absolutely nuts. I mean, I kind of want to just like slowly pan the camera around before we take this thing out for a drive. But, like, it looks absolutely freaking incredible. Okay. You know, I said I was going to like... I said I was going to look around it for longer, but I got to take this thing for a drive. Let's go. I feel like if you don't start off your drive in one of these with a burnout, you're probably like... I won't say you're doing it wrong, but you might ever so slightly be missing out on an experience. It just looks so good. And like that ever so slightly increased wide body... That just absolutely puts the finishing touches on it. Or, well, a finishing touch, I should say. How now, let's see. Distance? Oh, that's not what I wanted. No. That was absolutely not what I wanted whatsoever. Okay. There we go. I wanted to do some interior view driving. There we go. Oh, listen to the supercharger. I'm going to be quiet for a minute so y'all can hear how incredible this thing sounds from the inside. It sounds wild, especially on the downshifts. Like, this thing is one of the best sounding cars I've driven in the game so far. I will say, I'm not quite sure. Oh. You know, I got to be honest, I didn't mean to go into photo mode, but I'm not mad because look at that. All right, let's go right back inside the car and God, I need to stop bringing that up. There we go. The D-pad controls for this game are still something I kind of need to wrap my head around a little bit, but I could not think of a better car that you could use for like blasting up and down some of the city streets in this game. Now, it's not necessarily going to be your best choice for ripping up a mountain pass because it is a little big and it is a little heavy. But for something that you can just blast around the city in, thing is wild. Wait a minute. Can we get up there? I really want to find out. Oh, look at that. Easy. Oh, this is awesome. Question is, can we also get in here? What? Um, well, if you were planning on having a rooftop pool party today, um, I guess don't, or I guess be okay with the fact that I've done a few donuts on the pool deck. Come on. God, this thing is so good. 
It is such a gnarly, gnarly car. I honestly could totally see myself sticking with this thing for at least a few races or maybe a little bit longer than I originally anticipated on sticking with it. But if y'all want to see any more custom builds in the Crew Motor Fest, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time.